This is John Armwood on the Armwood Opinion Channel um, this beautiful fall day. And today I'm here to talk about chickens coming home to roost. That's an old expression. And right now it appears that attorney and former New York mayor Rudy Giuliani is saying his chickens come home to roost. The U.S. Attorney's Office, where he gained his initial fame, is investigating him for campaign finance violations, which stem out of the involvement he and some of his associates and President Trump with the government of the Ukraine and some private businessmen from the Ukraine who donated millions of dollars to the American election in 2016 and subsequently. And Rudy Giuliani's associates, two of them were arrested a couple of days ago, and the reports have come out that Rudy himself is under investigation. Rudy has been Donald Trump's front man for a little over a year in the various corruption scandals involving Donald Trump. And as recently as yesterday, Donald Trump seemed to be distancing himself from his lawyer, saying that he didn't know if Rudy Giuliani was his lawyer. This is the same thing that Trump did to his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, who's now in jail on charges arising from his paying of hush money to one of Donald Trump's former porn star mistresses. Rudy Giuliani has been mislabeled by the media for years. And I, I talk specifically about the television media. The mislabeling has not been as bad by the print media, especially that in New York City. After 9-11, he gave a number of speeches where poorly informed TV reporters started calling him America's mayor, even though the firefighters and many New York policemen were very angry at Rudy Giuliani and blamed him, rightfully so, for the death of many first responders. Let me explain what I'm talking about, and you'll see the article posted one of these places up here, an article talking about it. What happened was the World Trade Centers, the Twin Towers, which fell so tragically in 2001, were initially attacked years before somewhere around 1993, by a truck bomb. It didn't do any real damage. But as a result, the New York Police Department recommended that its command center not be placed in that area. There was another, not the Twin Towers, but right across the street, number seven World Trade Center, was where the command center was being 
contemplated to be placed. This is where Rudy Giuliani wanted it. The police wanted it in Brooklyn, which made more sense. That, since the World Trade Center, Center that area had been a target, it probably would be a target again. So have it somewhere else so if something happened, the command center would be still operational. Rudy Giuliani selfishly wanted to keep the World Trade Center, wanted to keep the World Trade Center site as a place for the command center so he could walk easily from City Hall over there. Not considering the advice of the police and also the Secret Service that this was a bad location. It had been a target. It could be a target again. And what ended up happening when the two towers were hit by planes, the command center was knocked out. So the police could not talk to the fire. The fire, the people in the building who were first responders could not talk to the ground. And unfortunately, 3,000 people died, and among them, a lot of first responders whose lives would have been spared if they had been able to communicate with the ground. This is Rudy Giuliani's fault. And the television media gave him a pass on it. New York Times did not. The Daily News did not. It was in there. The national television media, media gave Rudy Giuliani a pass on his major screw-up, which cost lives, because they wanted a nice, happy TV story. They knew that would sell. You always have to follow the money. And so Rudy Giuliani gained the name of America's mayor. He was never America's mayor. He was never all of New York's mayor. Ask black people in New York. The numerous police killings of unarmed black people, which eventually caused a federal judge to order the stopping of the stop and frisk policy once Giuliani was gone and Blumenthal was mayor, Every time the police shot and killed someone under horrible circumstances, unarmed black men, Rudy Giuliani supported the police. He was the most anti-black mayor in modern history. And I go back to uh, Mayor, mayor Robert Wagner, who was mayor in the early 60s. He left office in um, Janu January of 1966 when my favorite mayor came to office, um, John Lindsay. But Giuliani was extremely anti-black. He was anti-Hispanic. And he was anti every ethnic group in New York. He even attacked his own people the Italians. There was a festival. It was one of the nice things about New York. You have festivals, street festivals in the city. He attacked the festival of St. Gennaro, which was Labor Day weekend, where you, I mean, you would have Italian food out in the street. I used to go out in Little Italy and get sausage and pepper. I mean, it was a wonderful thing. I mean, I mean, good sausage and pepper. I mean, he ended that because there was some mob connection, so he got rid of the whole thing. In Chinatown, during New Year's, there usually were fireworks displays, part of Chinese culture. Yes, it is illegal to use, to have fireworks in New York City, but people looked the other way during Lunar New Year because it was a large part of the Chinese celebration. No, Rudy Giuliani had missed the tough guy, stopped that too. Giuliani was making a name for himself, as he did as a U.S. attorney, 
because he wanted to run for political office. But he had made, he made a lot of enemies along the way. He ran for Senate, and his campaign fell apart and was soundly defeated by Hillary Clinton. He then tried to run for president, and he was stalked by New York firemen and members of the families of the dead firemen and police officers who died as a result of his negligence in not following the police advice and putting the command center in Brooklyn. That's why his campaign fell apart for president. He was trying to run based upon 9-11 and he being America's mayor. Good luck with that. And now he's gotten himself entangled with his buddy Donald Trump in this Ukraine mess where Donald Trump and the Trump Organization with Attorney General William Barr, Giuliani, and a host of other people tried, uh, tried to get the Ukraine to dig up phony dirt and come up with phony dirt on former vice president and presidential candidate Joe Biden and his son to hurt him in the coming 2020 election. All of the media, print and television, have debunked the false accusations that Trump and some of his Republican allies, like Moscow Mitch McConnell, they have been attacking Joe Biden based on absolutely no evidence. The fact check organizations, fact check attack org, and all the others have said this is nonsense. But Rudy Giuliani and the Trump Organization have all been doing this. Well, the U.S. Attorney's Office, where Rudy Giuliani used to work, is now investigating him for criminal violations. Chickens are coming home to roost and it couldn't happen to a better guy. I would love to see Rudy Giuliani in Rikers Island. That's the jail for New York City. All of his anti-black rhetoric, I'd love to see him in jail with, in the general population and see what happens to him. He is an evil man. He's like Donald Trump. He's not as dumb as Donald Trump. Rudy Giuliani is not dumb. As he gets older, he seems to be losing a lot of what he had. But he's no Trump. He's not dumb. He's just a jerk, a selfish, nasty person. And chickens are coming home to roost. I'm going to end the video here. Remember... Resistance is not futile, as it says on my hat, and we are going to get past this. Make sure that you organize and contact your representatives because we need bills of impeachment. Congress doesn't have to vote on whether to open an inquiry as the Trump administration is claiming. There's no constitutional requirement for that. Nancy Pelosi is playing political games. That's what's happened recently. There have been votes, but there's no legal response. There's no necessity for that. She's just trying to give plausible deniability to Congress people so they can claim that they did not vote for it. Typical Nancy Pelosi. She is not looking at the goal line of impeaching Trump and putting political pressure on Republicans to move, remove him from office. What we need to do is we need to 
come up with a single argument and push our Congress people to get behind it, that the Republicans, the Republican Party is supporting and coddling criminals. Donald Trump is the head of the crim criminal syndicate, and they are being protected by Moscow, Mitch, and the rest of the Republicans in the Senate. They all need to go. Have a good day. And remember once again, resistance is not futile. Thank you.